Hello everybody, my name is Johan Romero. I'm going to show how to create and and do a coverage AOB and Arnold render. So some time ago I put a question on the Arnold Arnold render group asking if somebody knows how to how to create a coverage map. And basically I found nothing. A lot of people told me few things and other ones that doesn't work for me as I want so basically a crash map is this this is not this this is the crash map so for example if I have an scene like with millions and millions of objects and I want to perform color corrections for each of each of every every single object I will do this. I'll put in a, a object ID like AOB without without doing like mats for mats for each RGB mats for for each uh, object. So it's basically an automatic way to do it. But for having this working, you need this solar pass that is the coverage mat for each object. It's like an outline edge of each object so yeah and I found two solutions for that so one is the one I'm going to show you and then the other one that is that daisy one but with a lot of math in, in there not that complicated I'm going to show you so the way that this work is outputting two two AOBs, this one and this one. You can tell me, okay, those two looks very similar, and yeah, it's right. The only difference between these these two images is just if I'm going to zoom in, you can see here the edge. Take a look at the edge. I'm going to to change this. You see, it's basically filtering nothing else so this image doesn't have any filtering effect and this one has it this is a gaussian filter in Arnold render value of 2 and this one doesn't have any filtering this is a closest filter so I'm going to show how to do this in in Maya basically you just need to create a custom AOB as soon as you click that and you change the number you create an utility shader you change that utility to flat and then to color mode to object and as soon as you do that you output the color and you plug them in into the AOB AOB node and you change you create those of, of that the object one that has the normal Gaussian filter and the other one that doesn't have any filtering that is the closest and yeah you can render that out and and that's the way to to have that working so basically then here in you you just need to 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 plug down a difference and a difference node a merge and difference operation and you can see that is working very 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 similar to, to the true correction map found here the only difference is you have here um, colors so you need to take out the saturation with a saturation now but without losing any any luminance so here in the luminance map you, you need to change this from rec 709 to, to maximum as soon as you do that you, you you're good so this clamp is because if you see here okay here there is some negative numbers so the idea is to, to clamp those to doesn't have any negative numbers so as soon as you do the clamp you are good to go okay so then I inverted to have more similar to, to the true correct map it's getting more more and more similar and then 
I plugged in the alpha here. Okay, it's not working. I need just the alpha of the Mario one. This. Okay. Yeah. Then I stick this. So, okay, I have kind of the same thing of the true crush map. So, after this, I just did some few things. I just took the the J got some ID plugin from from the J Alps collection. Found you can find that in, in Wikipedia. It's, it's pretty good because you can just click here and just you can grab some ID and and change here the, the channel and they're pretty pretty nice to work. So I just click on I just pick some object IDs after that I just choose one for example and this is, is the the hands the globes of Mario so then I just took the 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 mat of Mario that is the closest one and then I'm I, I multiply it by the by the by the coverage map that I created so here you can see and then I shuffle in the all the channels in the 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 red channel in all the channels and then I shuffle copy to to other other channel the coverage that red to have just just that in one channel you can see here coverage it's just in the red okay and then I just did a uh, like a basic color correction here to to test it out. And yeah, it's working very very nicely because if you see here in this example, you're going to see the error on the edge of the of the mat without any correct mat. Here is the the working one. So yeah, I did the same thing for for other two two object IDs for this one and this one and you can check here so yeah without any any coverage map and without without it so in the there is one more important thing here in the color correction I did this so I maxed out the the ID and then I on pre multiply by the coverage map Okay. Basically, the amper multiply for those who who don't know how it works is basically the cover, the the amper multiply works like this. You need to to amper multiply the some parameter because if you see here, you're affecting all the image. So if you don't want to affect all the image, you need to amper multiply in this in this example by the by the alpha doesn't have any effect on the on the background image as you see here so it's basically for that the amper multiply and the other one is the mask so for example I just I just want to use this color operation but not in all Mario I just want to use in the t-shirt or in the gloves yeah it's for that so that one is, is one one working solution other solution is is this one that I think is more easy more easy because this one the thing with this one is when you have a lot of objects a lot of colors you're going to increase the file size because you are duplicating this 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 AOB into in two so this one and this one so basically you are going to have double size in these layers so 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 I did this other this other working solution that is that is this one I'm going to show you right now. So I I took just the 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 on filter LB and then I apply a, a plugged in or gizmo effect that is just basically is basically doing just like an anti aliasing of the edge of the jagged jagged edge so it's basically 
this is reading just the jagged edge and when it, when it finds some jagged edge they apply the the filter the filter effect the the the, the alias effect and the alias effect here on the edges you can find this in here um it's basically it's a paper it's called morphological anti-lacing it's well used on in games so it's a post process so it's more more quickly to to perform on CPU or GPU and there are some plugins out there like this one for Nuke you can download it and yeah and test it so basically I I just put the the plugin and I did the same thing the difference okay this one is not good I'm going to to correct this doing this this and seeing the difference is I'm going to to show the previous one and the other one I'm going to to show you here it's kind of the same thing it just changed few things here but for for most of the parts are the same thing I can I can show you the difference here with the with a switch node but seeing at the end here is the here is the the previous one where we have this one and this one and then the other one where we have the, the plugin working so it's basically no difference between those so I think this one is better because you just need to output the closest filter and then plug in the the anti this effect to the jagged to the jagged edges so yeah I think that's better and other thing thanks to, to Felipe Gonzalez that that helped me with this model he's a tree artist you can go to, to his website here he did the Mario Baracus version and he's a great artist you can go to his website and yeah that's it